report all the lessons for Cooper. Okay. I told him I'd try and remember. I might forget some of them though. Okay, we are looking at lesson 47 today. Circles and inscribed angles. We went over this last year in algebra 2. You may remember it, you may not. I can't get away from the computer. I mean, this is like, I can't go very far away. So I gotta move this over here. All right. An inscribed angle. Do y'all remember what that is? Yeah, if you know what inscribed means. It's an angle whose vertex is on a circle. And whose sides contain chords of the circle. That is an intercepted arc. I mean, an, an inscribed angle. It is also an intercepted arc, which is our next web cut word. <laughs> but that is an inscribed angle. Do y'all remember those from last year? With the vertex on the circle. But yeah. Okay. The intercepted arc. Do y'all know what that is? The arc. Yeah, it's the arc formed by an inscribed angle. So the green part is the in the intercepted arc. Does that make sense? Okay. If this is 50 degrees, do you know what the arc would be? Yes, it is 100 degrees. Remember how those are related? One's double. I was like, where'd you get 2,000 from? I got that, but it took me a second <laughs> to realize that you weren't being serious. All right, so the first theorem tells you that the measure of the angle is half of the intercepted arc. Or the arc is twice the angle, however you want to think of it. The next theorem, if an inscribed angle intercepts a semicircle, then it is a right angle. yawning. Okay, so this is a semicircle. What is the intercepted arc's angle? Mm 
Uh, this arc. Oh, the arc. It has to be 180 because it's half of a circle, which is 360. I don't know why we thought you were talking about the angle. I don't know. Does that make sense? So what is half of 180? Which means that has to be a right angle. Every time that it makes a semicircle with the hypotenuse, it's going to be a right angle. Does that make sense? That's all that theorem is talking about. Okay. Use circle P to answer each question. What would be the inscribed angle? Angle what? Do you agree? Is there another inscribed angle on that circle? There is not. That's the only... You can name it angle O-N-M, but that's still the same angle. Does that make sense? Because it's the only one that is on the circle. There are other angles, but it's the only one that's drawn that's an inscribed oh, angle. Oh, well, you could draw in another angle. Yeah. Does that make sense? But you would actually have to make the angle there. Name the arc intercepted by angle MNO. What is it? Arc M O. Make sure you put the little arc mark. You got to put arc M O. It's not just M O. If you do this, that means segment. Okay? So you got to put the arc so that we know you're talking about an arc. Okay? M P O is 64 degrees, which it clearly says there. Find the measure of angle MNO. You already done with it? Okay, what would it have to be? Ben says 32. Do you agree or disagree? I you agree? Okay, how do you say that it's 32? How do you know that's half of 64? But how do we know that that angle is half? This 64 tells you that the arc is 64, and we know that the arc is double whatever that angle is. Yeah, I just realized that I could have done it different. I did it a long way when I was doing it first, because PO and it, I did PO and P were radiuses, so they had the same length. Yeah, you can do it that way. And, 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 but PO is 160, the softness of yeah, you could do it that way. Took you a little bit longer. All right. What is the measure of arc in O? Why? No. This is a semicircle. So 180 less the 64 gives you this part of it. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Find the measures of angle 1, 2, and 3.
I was pushing it over very slowly. Okay, which angle did you start by finding? Three. Angle three? What is angle three? Why? It intersects a semicircle, mm -hmm. so it has to be 90 degrees from theorem 47.2. Okay, which one did you find next? What would angle one have to be? Why 54? The intercepted arc is 108, and so angle 1 is half of that, so 54. How do you find the last angle? Okay, what do you get? 36 degrees. Any questions on that? A lot of dealing with circles, you have to make triangles. Like a, a lot of times you have to make triangles. Like when we did the chords, finding the distance from the, the circle, we made triangles, right? A lot of times you're going to be dealing with triangles when you have circles, okay? Alright, see if you can find the measures of angle A, B, C, and arc B, D. Okay, any ideas what angle ABC would be? Why would it be 36? The arc is 72, so half of that is the angle. Okay, what about arc BD? Why 56 degrees? Double the angle. Does that make sense? All right. The next theorem, if two inscribed angles intersect the same arc, then they are congruent. Do you see that that is one inscribed angle? Do you see that that is another inscribed angle? Yes, it makes an hourglass. What do we know about these two angles? Why are they the same? If this was 50, what would this angle have to be? And what would this angle have to be? Does that make sense? They have the same intercepted arc. Okay. So see if you can find the measure of angle P, Q, R.
Any ideas? How'd you get 10? Why is that true? They are equal because they have the same intercepted arc. So what'd you get for x? So the angle has to be 10. Drawings aren't, they're not drawing the scale. Does that make sense? Okay. Another theorem. We used this last year. Some of y'all did not learn it last year, so you probably still don't know it. A quadrilateral that is inscribed in a circle has supplementary opposite angles. Do you remember that last year? Last year I just told you what it was. We didn't go over why it is true. But if you look at this angle, its intercepted arc is all of this, right? Okay. If you look at this angle, its intercepted arc is what? Together, what are the intercepted arcs? And what is half of the intercepted arcs? 180. That's why it's true. Does that make sense? Like if you look at the two arcs together, it's a whole circle. And so half of a whole circle is 180. So the two angles have to add up to 180. Does that make sense? Oh my goodness. No, it's not scale. None of my drawings are to scale. I'm not a um, computer. I can't, you know, just, oh. Now it's the scale. So if I ever draw something, you should know that it's probably not true. Okay, so see if you can find the measure of angle W. What would you do? Why does it equal 180 degrees? They're supplementary. Okay. So what does K equal? Be more confident. So if K equals 4, what does the measure of angle W equal? Does that make sense? Any questions here? Okay. Last one.
you any ideas about what to do? Why is that 43 degrees? It's half of 86. Okay, what else? Because they have the same intercepted arc. So what do you do to find HLK? 180 minus 43 minus 12 is what? Does that make sense? Any questions there? All right. 